you know, it's we're like ready to go. The movie's like probably started a couple minutes ago, but he's got to be fashionably late. It's Leonardo DiCaprio in a flash, a blaze of light. <laughs> This is really funny when it happens like this. Are we okay? We got to start. We'll bring them back out. We'll bring them back out. He's going to come back out. They're promising that they're going to bring him back out. They promised Leonardo, you have to come back out. They promise. <laughs> See, as a rising young star in Hollywood, this is one of the things that you have to deal with. Everyone shouting your name at the same exact time. How are you? Oh, I'm so sorry. How are you feeling? I'm all right. How about you? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. I mean, now that it's got, I mean, you can. You're the lead. Yeah. We're pretty much on all the way to this. I think I'd definitely say that. So, yeah, that's I mean, any sense of nerves? Yeah. Um, just as far as, you know, uh, I don't know. No, I, I think the movie's good. And, and the movie's good. People are going to watch it, and that's what I care about. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's going to make any money or not. I mean, I read about ages ago, and I think that's when they were making the movies while you were in production, going, hell, the movies are I mean, it's so strong, so deep, so dark. Not only that, but it was like, it was in a diary form, you know what I mean? Jim Carroll wrote this, you know, pieces at a time, so we had to compile it all. <laughs> Sorry, I hit your rod. We had to, like, compile it all into one sort of a storyline, so we had to, like, change things around, but I think it... It definitely captures the drug aspect of, of, of the book. I think that's definitely. I think a lot of other aspects of the book are dealt with, and uh, I think it's like, like I said, a good old. Book. This is the first time we've had to take a character that actually walks around on this planet. So what's it like? Walks around on this planet. Yeah, Jim. Jim's actually around. Oh yeah. I mean, it's a, I well, no, it's not true. It's a virus ball. Actually, it's still alive and writing. Sure. Yeah, but I mean, for, for you, I mean, here's a man who's writing autobiographically, some autobiographically, etc. And you had to portray somebody who's actually living and in the film and so Well, Jim obviously is a lot different now than he was back then at this time. But, you know, I did, he was around a lot, and he was around watching the film, and he gave me a lot of good advice. A lot of good advice as far as what to do with the whole. You know, being from in L.A. and everything, sort of getting a whole New York vibe as well was something I had to, Jim taught me a lot about. You know, took me a couple of poetry readings, this and that. It was a big help. Okay. I think I'll let them have you for the rest of time. All right. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to be kind of like the great white hope of the new generation of young actors up and coming here in Hollywood? That's, that's a hard question. <laughs> yeah? I said, well... You know, uh, I don't know if I am, but if that's what people are saying about me, that's, that's a, definitely a good thing. And it's not a bad thing. But even in your coming out role, what's eating Gilbert Grape? I mean, it seems like people want to challenge you with these intense emotional roles. How did how did I don't how think do you it's that? I don't think it's necessarily people wanting to challenge me, but um, I just want to try as many different types of things as possible, and that's why. I've been doing sort of the roles I've been doing for that specific reason. You know, I see a character that, like especially with this movie, you know, just the whole drug aspect and the whole sort of changing into the, the surroundings of, you know, what Jim Carroll's life was about was a big challenge for me. And I want to challenge myself is what I'm saying. I want to, you know, keep on stretching as an actor. I don't want to get other people's pressure involved. I mean, my pressure on myself is enough. Yeah, oh, definitely. Do you, do you find that you, you get approached with playing, like, these angry young men characters? And do you think today's youth is angry or confused? Today's youth, yeah, I think we're confused, definitely, you know. The X generation is what they call us. Well, I think I'm the Y generation, because, you know, the X generation is a couple years older, but I'm the Y. Oh! That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so is the Y generation, do you have a, an advantage over the Xers? We're even more, we're even more confused than yesterday. Oh, no. Well, you're handling it well, though. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Leonardo. Good to see you. Okay. Hello, good talk. Yes. I'm half German. Yeah. My mom is named Emeline Turk. Well, as 
reference. I always try, if I have a book, you know, to refer to, I use that as sort of like my Bible. If I ever have any questions, it's usually there, you know. Especially a book like The Basketball Diaries, which is so rich in detail and so honest. That was pretty much all I needed. And also getting into the whole drug aspect, it's, you know. What do you think about your eyes? I think they're a bad thing. And I think anyone who sees this movie will agree with me that, you know, if you're thinking of trying heroin at all, thinking of trying heroin at all is probably not the wisest choice in the world. You're very welcome. Hi, how are you?